Iranian hackers posed as recruiters, employees of defense contractors and young, attractive women on Facebook to form relationships with and hack into the computers of American military personnel, the social media giant warned on Thursday. Facebook said it was an apparent expansion of the so-called tortoiseshell group, believed to be operating out of Tehran, as it had previously focused on IT industry targets in the Middle East. It wasn't just targeting US defense of defense employees, but individuals in America, Europe and the UK working in aerospace and defense, medicine, journalism, nonprofits and airlines. The group spent months developing relationships with its targets, and the personas were consistent across other social media sites outside of Facebook. Facebook said fewer than 200 individuals had been notified they'd been targeted, while fewer than 200 accounts used by the group have been removed. The attacks started in 2020. The aim of the espionage campaign was to collect information about tortoiseshell targets, and to do that they would try to get their login information for their organization's accounts. In one case, they set up fake recruiting websites for defense companies, such as Lockheed Martin Jobs, US. In another they spoofed a legitimate US Department of Labor job search site. Other domains registered by the group indicated major media organizations were on the hit list, including CNN News, Global, BBC News, email if targets were duped and entered their login details to the fake sites, the tortoiseshell hackers would have access to their passwords. They also tried to trick targets into downloading malware onto their Windows PCs. This included an attempt to get individuals to download malicious Microsoft Excel spreadsheets that would allow the hackers to carry out various system commands on the computer. Facebook said its investigation and malware analysis found that a portion of the malware was developed by Mahak Raina Fraz, MRA, an IT company in Tehran with ties to the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, IRGC. Mike Devilianski, head of cyber espionage investigations, claimed it was the first attribution of the group, though couldn't expand on how it discovered the links, or provide more information on MRA. The company was first mentioned as an Iranian government contractor last year, in a report about Iran's online espionage activities by a US cyber intelligence company, Recorded Future. No more information was provided on MRA, other than to note it was one of a handful that was named by self-declared anti-government sources, as providing services to multiple government entities. Forbes reviewed domain records for the company's website, which was set up in 2013, but closed three years later. The website registration indicates that it's based in Tehran. A screenshot of the site from 2014 appears to point to a fairly straightforward security company.